They're chowing down. I'm hobbling around. Duh. Oh, I did, um... Yeah, I did unmute it. There it is. You're imagining things. Do you're imagining things. <laughs> you, do, do you know who you are? How could you keep going? Ignore the pain. Well, unless maybe I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I'm not. Good job, buddy. He ate all his food. Maybe I'm not imagining those voices. Maybe they're like really voices that actually exist somehow. I don't know how, but. Before maybe. she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. We're not in a good place now. We weren't that in a good place world. before, we aren't in a good place now. Like this one. And lonely. I don't know. This. I, I will say, yeah, this place is. Well, it's not barren. I just walked into that thing. Um, because there's like all this stuff here. But. And lonely, I definitely agree with. It's really pretty, though. Next time uh, the game saves, I'm. Is he moving? Where is he going? Next time the game saves, I'm going to close it down and reopen it because I did that yes er, yesterday. Did that last stream and it seemed to improve performance and make it freeze less or make it like stutter less. Um, okay, well that was a save. Unless something crazy happens. Nothing crazy happened. Cool. We're going towards that tree, which we can't actually see anymore. It was just there a second ago. Good task manager up here, real quick. What am I using up? It's using a surprising amount of disk. Seventy percent on CPU, eighty percent on GPU. I'll just leave that like that for a minute, um, and then I can glance over next time it does that. Or actually, let's do it from the performance tab. Oh, 
<laughs> the Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. I King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Spam people in the chat. What? I need earplugs. Not sure. I guess going here was the wrong order. Like I, maybe I should have kept going down the the beach a little ways. Sneak through the, uh, the sewers or something. <laughs> Isn't that boat out there seems all right. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. Oh, nope. but the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. Wait. The king is Sigmund's brother. The king's wife is his sister. Doesn't that mean the king married his sister? Or half-sister, at least? That's... He agreed. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Oh, Chained to a tree in the go forest straight out to night, see. a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. <laughs> she returns, ravenous, night after night until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But do you know A bear? That night, oh. when the she-wolf appears again, we'll never guess what happens. Well, that's a, a shame that I'll never guess. Also, I'm... Walking through here. Why am I keeping my arms dry? I mean, I guess I would probably be doing the same thing, but why? Ooh, look at that seam there. Yum. Oh, wait. I'm still doing it on land? That's awesome. 
Oh, I wanted him to keep doing it. As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even That's the great the craziest Sigmund needs help. Escape so she story sends her ever. sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan. One that is cold of heart and pure of blood. I mean, I get, I, I, I don't understand how a plot can be pure blooded, right? Cold blooded, wait, cold hearted, sure. Cold blooded, sure. Pure hearted. Don't, I don't get it. Ow, I'm really just trudging along here. Are we just going to spend this whole time? What? Did I do something wrong? Are we now just going to like continue this way basically forever? I don't really know where I'm going. You can't even fight. It's just a deception. It's like in uh, in Fable Two, the um, that, that cabin you go to with your sister at the end.
Jam. I don't believe I'm controlling it anymore. I am not. Something behind her or her face What's changes? Senwa. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one? Well, I I watched you, and... You learnt all of that from watching me? <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. Bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. You killed him. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So anyone knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! That was the best, like, uh, binaural sort of experience sections that that has happened in this game so far. That that one was amazing, scary and uh, and and it's disturbing, but in incredibly mixed, incredibly well produced, very well acted. That that was awesome. Maybe it's a sign. The tree. What's he trying to tell you? He's waiting for you by the tree. Okay, fine. You ain't for me when you cool. Huh? Every time I turn to the side and I try to walk to the side, she like crouches down. Like, do it. Do it again. Oh, maybe she doesn't do it. There we go. <laughs> I'm like. Oh my, do I need to hide from something? I think you did a similar thing in Death Stranding. Maybe that's why I'm having that reaction. Alright, Dillion. That is your real name. Pretty sure. Um, why, why am I running like that? What? What? Why am I running like that? <laughs> what? I've just got on like rollerblades and I'm- What? Where did I break? 
<laughs> I'm, this is like a whole emotional scene and I'm like running with rollerblades that are sliding off of me repeatedly. Some of those screams sounded- some of the voices turned into screams. One of them turned into a weird vocal fry thing. But then one of them sounded like a radio. Like, exactly like a radio in the left ear slightly behind me. What's happening? That was weird. Why did one of them sound like a radio? Its name is Gramra. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need this sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge Gram by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the Tree of Death will take you to new lands where you will face the trials. Don't forget know what I'm doing now. Oh great, I'm running like this again. Okay, I'm definitely not supposed to be running like that. Um if I switch between running and the runes. You need that sword. Go to the shaft. Okay, I'm gonna exit to main menu. Okay, are we able to move again? Pretty much. Oh, it put me all the way over here. Time, time to get, time to get grammar. Take it, take it. Right, a radio. Where you will face the trials. <laughs> 